Hey guys, this is Dinoblade Highlights here and uh, we're going to uh, tackle an interesting uh, area actually which is the capital of Laconis. I can't really pronounce it, let me try pronouncing it. <laughs> it's Agniratha, Agniratha, yeah, I guess. So uh, the capital, uh, you, uh, basically you have limited access to it uh, in terms of time. Everything here is time, the side quests are time and the access is timed actually. Uh, because uh, during the storyline, uh, you actually don't. You, there's a storyline event that uh, uh, basically blocks the capital, the capital. And spoiler alert: basically, the capital gets destroyed in one way. Uh, and uh, after that, you're on your way to the Maconis Core event. I'm still doing that right now in the terms of storyline. And basically, you have two windows of access. Uh, when you first access it, that's the first time you get to the capital. And I advise you to finish all side quests at that time because when you do that, you can actually teleport easily between the, between the landmarks here. But as you can see here in my case, I didn't do all the side quests because I didn't know this was going to get destroyed and I would, was, was not going to get access to it. So uh, I can't... Uh, so how am I... So yeah, the, 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 the question is how do I have access to the capital even though it's destroyed? What I did was, uh, actually when you get to the Maconis core, uh, you go back to the central factory and you could actually get back here uh, through foot. It is a bit of a, a, an annoyance, but it's near the, the entrance, so you can't really miss it here. So this is supposed to be destroyed, but you know, blooper, I guess, you could say, uh, uh, you could say that the developers kept it here. You could actually access it. This is the second window of access, and when you want, before getting to the Maconis core. So uh, I advise you to do it when you uh, do all the side quests presented by these things here. Uh, each one has three, four side quests, and uh, most of them are fetch quests and defeating enemy side quests as well. Uh, the powerful enemies, and uh, some of them are really, really powerful. So you have to farm your way through here. Uh, to defeat these enemies. Uh, I had a uh, huge difficulty with one enemy in particular, I just couldn't beat him. So I just uh, said the screw this and I'll just, I finished the main, uh, main storyline. And uh, luckily I was able to gain access here. I didn't know that I was uh, gonna be, I just, uh, by luck I just went back, tracked back and I actually, you know, you could actually, you know, uh, see, I gain access to the area even though it's supposed to be destroyed, but uh, I can't teleport so I had to do everything the remaining stuff on foot and uh, everybody's asking I didn't know there was any significance to the side quest here uh, even, and again by chance I was uh, once I finished all the side quests necessary which are let's let's see uh, count them up here 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 16 actually uh, uh, 14. These are the 14 side quests, and they're all timed. You can see the timer next to each one. And uh, which one was the toughest one? Yes, this guy. This guy was extremely tough, man. Wrathful uh, or Orobas. Very, very tough uh, boss to beat. So, yeah, once you beat all the side quests, come back here and talk to this guy. Okay? And he'll say no issues remaining, and he'll give you something. And let me show you what he gave me. This is by coincidence. I didn't go and check any facts or anything. I didn't go online. I was just talking to these guys before leaving the area. Uh, where where's the inventory? He gave me, and I, I know what's this what this is actually uh, because uh, I remember the cloister key. Yeah, the key to the central tower observation terrace, which is upstairs. That's what he gave me. So I'm, we're gonna go upstairs right now and see if it's worth. Uh, Gaining access to this area. Sorry for the long, boring talk here. I just have to explain everything. It's funny that the developers kept this here, even though it's supposed to be destroyed in storyline form. Well. I, I, I just couldn't be. I had to. You have to. You have to keep farming to beat these uh, and, and gain these uh, items and, and beat these really powerful bosses. I'm assuming it's the opening for this door. Yep, it is. And what you gain here is an ether gear. I'm gonna check Melia here because Melia has a secret uh, skill 
that gains, gains access to rare crystals sometimes. Okay, I didn't get anything. Let's see what else do I have here. Seven Sage Cloister. And that's it. Honest inside. I got an achievement and I got a secret area. And I got a couple of achievements here. Let's see. Unyielding Devotion and Honest Insight. Fully developed three of Shulk's skilled bra branches. Huh? Oh yeah, okay, skill. This one. Fully developed Charlotte's skilled branches. Okay. Uh, these achievements are not, are not related to the secret area that I just got. But basically what happened was uh, the secret area gave me uh, a lot of EXP basically, a lot of skill points. So uh, the stuff that I got for Sh uh, Shulk and Charla was uh, basically you know, just gain a level to it. So I think that's it basically. So all you, all you gain access to is a secret area and some ether shrine mines and nothing else. I'm wondering if uh, if I if I uh, if what what happens if you beat this uh, these side quests and gain access to this area before it supposedly get destroyed which means what happens if you get all these the first time through uh, I'm not sure but if you guys know anything that I don't know about you could just uh, comment on this video maybe you guys uh, finished the side uh, were able to finish the side quest uh, in a timely manner unlike me so yeah basically that's it and uh, that was kind of interesting but I don't think it's not really. I don't think it's that worth it if you guys don't feel like farming and, and backtracking and uh, defeating bosses that you can't defeat. Unless there's something that I don't know about, like I said before. Maybe there's uh, there's supposed to be something else here that uh, that you could uh, gain access to if you beat these quests in a timely manner. So anyway, that's it. And uh, catch you later with another Xenoblade Highlights. Hope you enjoyed.